What's up guys? So a friend of mine turned me on to DaVinci Resolve for all my editing. And I'm running on Windows. And if you're getting this error message, I may have a solution for you. Alright. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously open up Windows, get your computer up and going, and then you want to go to this PC and look at your disk drives that are in your machine. Now you need to decide which drive. If you only have one, you're just going to have the Windows C drive. Um, my machine's got several drives in it and a couple of external drives hooked up to it. But I have on mine the Scratch Disk D. Now this is a solid state drive that's installed just for me to use with DaVinci Resolve. Um, this disk over here is going to be my Windows operating system and all my program files. If you don't have a scratch disk, you can just use Windows C. Now we know the drive letter that we're going to be using, which in my case is going to be D. So we'll minimize that back down and we'll open up Resolve. Now this is the clip that I'm working on right now. So you can see here it says you can update the cache path in project settings under general options. Now this can be a little bit misleading because in order to get to the project settings you'll go to file come down to project settings and it says general and I go to general options here and there's nowhere in general options for me to select anything that there's no drive in here there's no file folders nothing as far as that goes so it took a little bit of digging around and I found it we'll cancel out of that go over to DaVinci Resolve up here in the top left corner pull down and hit preferences now media storage is the tab that you're looking for you need to make sure that the drive you want to render files and uh, uses your cache files and gallery is listed here if it's not you can click add go back to this PC and you can select your Windows Drive a scratch disk drive like I have uh, whichever drive you want to use you select it and you add it in now I'm gonna cancel out because I already have my drive D in here and I have it checked we're gonna hit save now we're going to go back to file, project settings, and instead of going to general options, we're going to go to master settings. In master settings, when it opens up, you'll see your timeline format, your video monitoring, your media and render cache, and then right here is your working folders. This is where you want to, if it's not listed, you're going to want to hit browse select your D drive or C drive whichever drive you chose hit OK you're gonna do the same thing for the gallery location we we'll hit OK and now it doesn't give me an option to save because I didn't change anything but once you change both of these to what you want you're gonna hit save and then you're gonna close out and that's it guys once you have those drives set up and established in DaVinci Resolve, you should be able to run your program, do everything you want to do in it, utilize all the amazing features that are in Resolve. And if you want to learn more about Resolve, I'm going to pop up a card up here with a link to my friend's channel, Crafted Shutter. I'll also drop a link down in the description below for Crafted Shutter because he's got several tutorial videos on how to use DaVinci Resolve, and I'm learning a lot utilizing those. So guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Tick that bell. That way you get notified when we upload new videos. And stick with us because we're going to be bringing you more.